Welcome to the 5-Minute Business Boost, where you get to choose your 5-Minute Investment. I'm your host, Sam Hicks, and I'll be discussing topics under the heading of business development, marketing, photography, and so much more. Today's episode is about Google Trends. Now, this is a pretty cool little small business tool. It can be a valuable resource for us small businesses because it allows you to track search interest over time. It's free. It provides insights that can help you identify trends in your industry, target your marketing efforts and make better business decisions. Now, it's a neat little tool, but it's perfect for a quiet time over winter and spring. If your business is full on with a white season, it's spring because it's an absolute rabbit hole worth exploring. And here's a few ways that small businesses can use Google Trends. Identify trends in your industry. Google Trends can help you stay ahead of your competition by identifying new trends in your industry. You can discover popular products or services that are gaining popularity, allowing you to adapt your offerings to meet the demands of your customers or the wider world. You can target your marketing efforts. By analysing search terms, Google Trends enables you to refine your marketing strategy and tailor your messages to reach the audience most likely to be interested in your products or services. This target approach ensures better results and higher conversion rates. Make better business decisions. We're all about that. So this little tool provides valuable insights into your customers' interests and needs. So this is the wider customer market. This is what people are searching for online. You can monitor some of the spikes in search volume for specific products or services. And you can also consider adding them to your inventory to capitalise on emergency merging trends. Now, they're the sort of top three But there's some additional rules of thumb or thought that I've come up with. So one of the things is you can utilise the advanced search features, take advantage of Google's Trends advanced search features such as time range filter to track changes in search interest for a specific term over time. This helps identify long-term trends and seasonal variations. And up in the northeast, we are very much seasonal variations. We have a green season, we have a white season. You can compare different terms. You can use Google Trends to compare search interests for different terms, identifying you, helping you to identify related trends that are relevant to your business. This comprehensive understanding of the market landscape can guide you in making your decisions. You can actually leverage Google Trends for content creation. So you can create highly relevant content by utilizing the data. For example, writing a blog post about a trending topic in your industry can attract more visitors to your website and establish your authority. Track competition. Stay informed about your competitors by using this tool to analyze the keywords that they're ranking for. Now, this information provides insights insights into their successful strategies and areas that they may be lacking. You can also monitor your own performance. Track your own performance by examining the keywords your business is ranking for. This helps you identify areas of strength and areas that need improvement, enabling you to refine your SEO and marketing efforts. That one I like really much. Really much? That's great English. Anyway, generate content ideas. You can let Google Trends inspire you with new content ideas by highlighting popular and trending keywords. By creating content around those topics, such as blog posts, infographics or videos, you can attract more engagement and expand your audience reach. Okay, so Sam, that's all very lovely, but let's have a demo. All right, so on opening Google Trends, I have three navigational headings looking at me. Home Explorer and Trending Now. So I make sure that I am in Australia, I click on Explore, and in a search item or search term, I type in Snow Season 2023, and I add a comma with Victoria. I see that interest over time peaks in June, of course, because that's when the snow's around, duh, but I can see an increase in some spikes in the sub-regions of Victoria, and I can now see the related topics such as snow, Victoria season and holiday. There are no related queries, so I'll type on, above all that, plus compare and type in snow. Interestingly, I now can see related queries around black snow on Stan. So it's a show on a streaming service. (coughs) So I compare plus again and I use the word spring and now I see I've got three topics and their results and sub-regions of interest. To shake things up, I now go back under my topics 
And in the categories, I scootled down to travel and hit travel. Now I have gold. Spring is bringing up lots of related queries, as does snow. So what are people actually searching for in around spring and winter and snow? They are searching for snow season perisher 2023, Mount Bobo, accommodation snow, snow chain hire Melbourne, which is really kind of cool, snow in Canberra today, Threadbow lift tickets. So by going down that rabbit hole of trending now, so that's the next little subheading, it's come up with probably, what, 20 search items, but the top three are Hamish Harding, who is he, English England versus North Macedonia and Craven the Hunter, the new spin-off. Well, they're saying it's a spin-off like Spider-Man, but I'm assuming it's on Netflix. So that is actually giving you a bit of an insight to what people are actually searching today as in trending. But you can also, as I've said above or said before in this podcast, you can actually start to Google trend or Google the words that pertain to your industry. So... Have a go. Search for Google Trends, log on, have a go. If you've got any questions or you come up with some gold, direct message me or send me an email to sam at samhicks.com.au. Thank you for tuning in today. Have a fabulous time and I will see you in the next episode. And remember, anything in the Northeast is possible and anything in business is possible. Bye for now.